Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay, and today we are going to be reacting to my 22 goals for 2022, since we are halfway through 2022. If you are new here, please hit that red subscribe button down below, and please hit that like button as well to join our family. I really would appreciate it. And comment down below if you're a new subscriber. I love to meet my subscribers and to comment back to you guys and to make friends. Yeah, before we get into this video, this week um, marks halfway through 2022, so I wanted to go through my journal and kind of react to the goals that I had. I did film a video of these goals, so I'm gonna link that up at the cards up in the corner, so you guys can go watch that video after you watch this one to hear my goals. But yeah, let's just hop straight into the video. Okay, so I wrote all of my goals in the back of my journal and we're just gonna go over it one by one and see if I have achieved it or not or what's going on with my goals. Just hopping straight in, um, my number one goal was to drink more water and I definitely have done that. Being pregnant, it makes me drink more water just because I know that she needs water and I need water and I'm have so much extra blood in my veins and pumping through my body that needs water so it really just helps me get in the mindset of drinking more water do i need to still drink more than i am currently yes but i am drinking more than i was when i wrote this journal number two exercise three times a week um i am not doing that i stretch before bed i do kind of like prenatal yoga which I guess you could count, but I'm not like doing cardio. A lot of the cardio that I'm used to doing is on your back and it's ab workouts, which you're not allowed to do while you're pregnant. I don't know if some people know that or not. You're not allowed to do like sit-ups and crunches and squats you're not supposed to do, at least is what my doctor has recommended me not to do them. And so, and it's getting hot out, so I haven't, I haven't done it. And that might be an excuse, the heat, but I have not done exercising three times a week. Number three, when I filmed my last video, or this video in December of 2021, I had just gotten laid off of my job. And so one of my goals was to get a great job. I do have a great job. I love where I work. I love my coworkers. It's a good job, especially for being pregnant. If you are new here, I am a receptionist at a car dealership. So I answer phones, keep the coffee going, snacks, things like that, and whatever they ask me to do. So I did find a great job. So that's two out of three that I have done. Number four is expand the family either as a puppy or a baby. And I am pregnant. I'm 21 weeks pregnant. I actually got pregnant like two weeks after I filmed that video, which is kind of crazy to think about. I got pregnant in like the second or third week of January. So crazy. I was tr like filming that video that I'd get pregnant so soon after because we had been trying for a little bit and we weren't getting pregnant. I thought my hormones were off so I didn't think that I was going to be able to get pregnant without getting some like hormone therapy help with trying to level my hormones out. My number five goal was to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I believe when I filmed this video I had nine subscribers and currently I have 122, so we are definitely growing towards that goal. Eventually the goal is to be monetized by YouTube, so that means that I'd have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. But the crazy thing is, is if you can see on this, like the 1,000, I only put 100 and then right before I filmed that clip, I decided to bump my goal up to 1,000, which I have gotten 100, so we are doing better than I expected myself to do, which is awesome, but obviously I'd love to keep growing and keep improving. Number six is to eat healthier. I try to eat healthier. I can't say that I'm always the best at it. Being pregnant, some things just don't sound good. Some things do sound good, so I kind of just intuitively eat what I can, if that makes sense. I just can't and it, eating healthy is expensive. I Sometimes we can't afford to eat majorly, super, super, super healthy. Just being very transparent with you guys. 
but I try to eat healthier, so I am gonna take that as a yes, I am eating healthier. Number seven is go on a date night weekly. We have not been the best at that. We definitely have gone on more date nights than we have in the past, so I'm gonna take it as a win, but we haven't gone on it weekly. Like I said in the last one, we just can't afford it at times, which is okay, um, but we definitely spend time together. If, even if it's not like going out on a date or getting food or whatever, but we spend time together. Um, number eight is to buy a nice new to me car, a used car. Um, we are buying a car in two weeks, so I'm super excited. It's a white Buick Enclave, it's a 2008. I'm super, super excited about it. I'm excited because it has a movie player and a sunroof and it's just, I'm so excited to have my own car. If you are new here, I'm borrowing a car from my in-laws right now just because we are waiting to buy this car, but it's coming in two weeks and I'm so excited for it and to have like extra space because Cody's car is really small. So I'm excited to get a mom car. Number nine is growing my credit. I have not done that at all. Um, oh shoot, my battery's gonna die. Okay, I got a new battery, but I have not grown my credit at all. I don't have a credit card or anything, and that is, I have not grown my credit at all. Um, he qualifies for a college credit card through our bank, but since I am not a college student, I don't qualify for that credit card, unfortunately, so I have not grown my credit at all. It's still a goal of this year to be able to grow my credit and get a credit card and start that, but we are um, paying cash for that car, so we don't have to um, finance at all, which sucks because I wanted to finance. If you watch that video, I say that I wanted to buy a car on financing so I could build my credit, but we're buying a car, that car cash. So I have not grown my credit, and it's still a goal, still a major goal for this year. Have a garden. I do have a garden. I have three pots out on my porch. I have a cherry tomato plant, a red bell pepper plant, and a chocolate mint plant. They are thriving. I've already gotten like three or four tomatoes from my little tomato plant, and I absolutely love having a garden. It's so fun for me, and I just absolutely love it. And yeah, I have a friend going to watch my plants while we are on vacation, so don't worry about that. So. I have that taken care of. 11 is to learn how to play the ukulele. I, when I filmed that video, I did start playing ukulele in the couple weeks that I was laid off, but I have not since. So since like January-ish, I have not played my ukulele. It sat in the corner of my room. I have had other things like being pregnant and being sick come up. So that is mostly why I haven't. And I have picked up new hobbies. So I still want to learn how to play the ukulele. I had friends from Utah that are like amazing at playing the ukulele and it really like inspired me, but I don't know how realistic that is about like a teacher or something. So with the baby coming soon and my belly growing, I don't know how realistic that is, but I would like to at least learn a few songs so I can like um, play the ukulele and like sing her to sleep. Number 12, read three books. I have already done this. It, when I first started my job, I did not know what I was allowed to do, so I brought books into work to read, and um, I just read constantly. And I have read The Hunger Games, Hunger Games Catching Fire, and I read, oh, I've read two. And I'm working on the third, which is Matched of the Matched series. I'm also working on the new Hunger Games book. I kind of skipped over Mockingjay. I started reading it, but Mockingjay is not my favorite out of that series, so I kind of skipped it, and I'm reading a, the Song of Ballards and Snakes, or whatever the, the fourth Hunger Games book is, which I'm super excited. They just announced that they are coming out with a movie for that book, so I need to finish it before the movie comes out. But I'm working on it. I'm almost done with both of those books. So I will have it done probably here in the next week. Number 13 is to grow my small business. I have not been to any events or really worked on my small business that much. I do sell them at my car dealership. It's the um, car air fresheners that I sell. So I have done, sold quite a few there, but I haven't like 
gone out, like kept up on my Instagram. I haven't done any new ones because I did a whole bunch before Christmas and um, our event at Christmas time did not do the best. So I have not done any extra just because I've had tons to sell it. So I have not done that one, but in the fall I hope to do more events with my mother-in-law like we did last year. It was super fun, we loved it, but we will, we will see. Number 14 is to treat myself more. I'm working on this. Um, I don't like to treat myself, especially when I know that like I don't need a Dutch Bros. I don't need a new thing in makeup. I don't need that, I don't need this. But I am starting to treat myself more, especially with, I have bought myself, like I bought myself a new concealer the other day because mine was drying out. I bought myself a new mascara. I bought myself like probably two months ago a new eyeshadow palette, which I haven't done since high school which felt really good because I've wanted that palette forever, but it just feels good to treat myself once in a while. Like on Friday, I went and got myself a Dutch drink on the way home, so I'm working on it. I'm definitely not the best at it, but I am definitely getting a lot better. And so I take that as a win. Number 15, convince Cody to be on my YouTube channel. Um, I have not done that yet. Uh, the only video that I have of him is I think announcing that I'm pregnant to him. I'll link that video up in the cards. But I think that's the only video. He's gotten a lot more, su not supportive. He's always been supportive of my YouTube channel, but he just doesn't like to be on camera. But I'm more open to talk about it and like film TikToks and YouTube shorts in front of him, which, and he's like super duper duper supportive. And I am just very grateful for his support. But I'm hoping that when the baby comes that he will be more open to being on my YouTube channel just because he's okay with me filming her. So hopefully, let's hope, let's hope. Number 16 is to scrapbook. I have not done this. Scrapbooking is expensive and it's hard to get into. But I have gotten into, I mean, I'm taking more pictures. Obviously, I got this new camera. So I am trying to get better into my photography again. I used to be a photographer in my hometown and since moving here, I haven't really done it just because I don't have connections like I did in my hometown to like friends and stuff to take their pictures. But um, yeah, obviously I'm getting more into videography with my YouTube channel and stuff. So I have not scrapbooked at all. Um, 17 make my YouTube intro better. I have not done this. I have been thinking about it I don't know really how to do it So I am trying to brainstorm on how to make my channel better for you guys my intro especially But I have made my YouTube channel in general better So my intro needs to catch up to that 18 love what I'm doing. I absolutely love what I'm doing. I love my YouTube channel. I love filming. I love editing I love my job. I love living where I live. I love Being pregnant now my first trimester was rough, but I love Like where we live and everything I said I, I'm just I'm enjoying life right now And I don't want to take that for granted, but I definitely am loving what I'm doing 19 is to be a better person. I don't know, I don't remember what I said in this video, the last video, about what that meant to be a better person. I am trying, I'm trying to remember to send birthday cards out to everyone in our family and different things like that, but yeah, I'm trying to be better, not swear as much, things like that, but yeah. 20, make two friends. I have made two friends at my new job, so I've already accomplished that. 21, organize my house and fridge better. If you watched a video, couple videos back, <laughs> our fridge died. So I have not figured out this new fridge yet. I'll link that video up in the cards if you wanna go watch that one. But I have not figured that this fridge out to like organize it better, but I have organized our closets better, obviously. And there's another video, or it's that same video that I organized our closet in our guest room. So I am getting better at that. And the last one was to coupon. I definitely am starting to coupon um, more. It's hard to get into, it's just hard to get used to, and I, you need like money to get started into couponing, like you need, especially for like Walgreens and CVS, you need 
money, you're not gonna save as much at the beginning. So it's harder to coupon right now, but I am definitely couponing. I have saved like quite a bit of money. So that's exciting. But yeah, out of the 22 goals, let's see. Out of 22, I have accomplished 12. So we are doing good for halfway through the year. I'm over halfway there. But I will react to this video and the other one at the end of the year and to see how I did on all 22 of those goals. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know that I enjoy reflecting on what I have done in the past and my goals. Again, I will link that video of the original video of these goals in the cards above. But if you did not at the beginning, please hit that red subscribe button to join my family and comment if you're a new subscriber. I love to meet my subscribers. And yeah, I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one. See ya.